Okay. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it sucks. Welcome all back to the channel, everybody. It is one of those beautiful, absurdly nice outdoor days. I just got back from elk hunting, catching up with the fam, doing all that great stuff. Uh, OSG and Emmy and Ben are all at the state fair, the Texas state fair right now. And I am here about to just do some outdoor things. Just thinking about it. If you are getting into the outdoors right now, this is, this is the greatest time. It is a double whammy time because we have deer season going on with bass fishing starting to get really good, starting to get charged up again. Bucks are gonna be in rut, you know, here in about a month or so. Perfect timing here. I just got a box of stuff from Bucks. If you guys are familiar with ducks, that is, uh, you know, duck hunting, lifestyle, apparel. There's some other of us that really enjoy antlered type deals. And we decided to kind of follow the same concept. We got bucks going, lifestyle apparel for deer, uh, you know, packs, hats, t-shirts, performance uh, hoodies, things like that for, you know, your basic, you know, deer camp scenarios. I'm try a little buck grunt call right here. <laughs> I will be putting that in the pack. And man, I'm excited to get down to the deer lease soon, y'all. Just came off of this elk hunt, charged up from that, but man, I'm ready to go deer hunting and I'm wanting to get Stephanie on her first deer. Uh, I really haven't even done that much scouting, y'all, just because of having baby Ben. I haven't had time to do it, but um, you know, it's already archery season. Good to go there. I'm ready to get down, sit in a tree, just check out some bucks, see what's moving around. Yeah, we got that silver bullet sitting there. We're gonna do a chicken check real quick for you guys. Gonna include some home vlog stuff for you here since uh, a lot of you commented on my last home vlog video. You wanna see more, more at home. Girls, how we doing? How are we doing today? Starting to grow back your feathers a little bit, I see. A lot of leaf blowers out today in the neighborhood, by the way. I just got done leaf blowing because we just had a, a big storm come through. Temperature uh, has dropped, it's really beautiful. I keep saying that. It's because I'm gonna go fishing. It's, it's so nice. That's old Puff right there. Puff's looking pretty nice. She's fully regrown her feathers. Our Dorkings, Dorkings are still laying eggs every day. They're looking all right. Bard rocks kind of rough that's that's Betty Betty's looking all right but her other bard rock she's got that old naked neck going on it's just it's not very suiting for her. and then my favorite red chicken penny she's got a little a little chest sloughing going on and I think it a lot of it is from my my on-demand feeders you know they stick their necks in there and they get that food out I just lowered it to the ground yeah, gum, buddy is at it with the leaf blower. You about ready to lay there, Peggy? Go in there and get you one. Let's see what we got happening here today. Carrot, carrot is currently in the box right now. She's laying one. She's pretty relaxed. It's kind of weird. Chickens get into a, a trance when they lay. You know, normally she would never let me touch her, but right now she's as cool as a cucumber. And she's probably sitting on two or three eggs good to go thank you girls continue to do what you do make those eggs I appreciate you very much y'all it's so gorgeous out here shouldn't even be legal Beautiful, beautiful fall day. I just forgot my sunglasses though. You ever do that? That is really disappointing on oh, such a sunny day, but we'll digress. The last tournament I fished y'all, I don't think we've put it out yet on the Google Squad channel. Man, it was a doozy of a lake. I'm talking, it tore up some gear and uh, I went through a prop. So this is actually the my backup prop that I used and I even chipped it up and I lost my skag, and I broke my transducer mount, and I got a couple little skivvy doos on the on the skag. It was just it was just nasty. 
should be a great video when it comes out. It's one of the most high and low tournaments I've ever fished. It was a lot of fun. But anyway, we're going to hop in the boat and just enjoy this gorgeous atmosphere out here. Also from post-tournament, we have... Uh, we have a foot pedal, a foot pedal problem again. Cool thing about these units, these Garmin's, you can actually control, you can control a lot of the troll motor with this remote right here. My speed wheel went out during the tournament, but I was able to uh, use this to control the speed. So I, I need a new speed wheel, but you can uh, you can use this remote to, to do a lot of those operations. So got something I should have rigged up post tournament is a shaky head. Did I do it? Yes, I did. Went ahead and did it because in the fall, starting about October here in Texas. This is when I like to break out a shaky head quite a bit. And you can throw your straight tail worms on it. Um, something that I was turned on to last year is throwing this little trench hog. That little trench hog on there, man, it's just like it was meant to be. It's like it came down from the fishing heavens and just said, be a shaky head. Usually this time of year, they will start to get on any sort of... Um, you know main lake point even like offshore shallow stuff and the lakes will sometimes draw down this lake is, is down quite a bit right now you know a calm day you don't have the wind to get that spinner bait crank bait bite going which is really good in the fall top water as well i like to get that shaky head and just give it that old drag give it that old dragger till you run into something good you know a stump or a patch of rocks just drag it along till you hit that and then just pop it a little bit Here's one. Little spotted bass. Let him go. Little spotted buddy. Doing a little offshore looking right here because and I'm just seeing a lot of random fish like deep like on the bottom you know in like 20 there's a couple drops just in general fish are like on the bottom out here in 20. I'm gonna give her the old flutter plastic here drop that goes from like 20 to 30. Yep. Boat's turning around on me. I gotta go to the front. What the deuce, man? What the deuce? I leave to go to the elk, elk woods for a week. Come back, the fish, it, it's kind of weird. They're, they seem to be deeper than what I would expect. I don't know if they, we had a recent rain that made them push deeper. Just seeing a lot of marks, like the shad or not. God, I'm seeing a lot of marks. We're gonna do a little test here. Just came across a brush pile that I've never fished. Just run down the banks, found one. And it looked just oozing with crappie. 
So I want to see if those babies are going to fire out there in that deep stuff. Little dangle bug here for the crappie. Good lord, I can't even get a crappie to nibble. That is, uh, that is concerning. Ah, Lee, you want to talk about a specimen of a rock drag. A rod tip's just loving it. It's getting in there and just a boom, 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 feeling those rocks. Should connect, but I'm not. Thumbs up, man. Something ain't right. They ain't biting my lure like they're supposed to. Gonna make me sneak up in that deer blind, son. Bass gonna leave me hanging? You gonna get me on them bucks. Well, there's a dude just riding a daggum surfboard out here. <laughs> oh, sh wow, it's interesting. Looks fun. The only thing I haven't tried yet is going in some shallow water. Like some of the backs of these creeks. I'm seeing shad at the surface right now. That one's got it. Oh, he just dropped it. No, he still got it. Oh my gosh, he hung on to it for a long time. Okay. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it sucks. Dag up. Can't buy a bite. Cannot buy a bite. Okay, we are back from that little disaster. Ooh, look at these little little lamps Stephanie got. She put some little lamps out here. It's kind of cool. I didn't fish all the way till dark dark because I wanted to make sure I was here for Emmy because uh, she wanted to see me before she goes to bed. She and Steph went to the state fair today. How we doing? Yeah. Bath time, you know. Bath time? It's been a long day. Yeah. It's been a long day? Yeah. We went to the state fair today. Hi, Dad. If I Hi. don't have gray hairs tomorrow, I'll be wearing a hat. Yeah. Hi, Dad. 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 H
you know, I was kind of like getting in the nap and I just hear crash. <laughs> and that was the signal something had gone wrong. <laughs> and then I go over, I just, I just pick Emmy up and I look down and my shirt is like covered Robert. in blood. And she had, uh, she had like flipped over and her chin hit her jaw or something and hurt her. Her uh, chin hit the hit, chair and hit, hit yeah. her, it, I don't know, it caused something somehow to hit her teeth. We thought she had knocked her teeth out or something. Or but bit off her tongue. Bit off her tongue, but she's, she's okay. You're okay. You're okay. You want to show yeah. them your, your chin? A little boo-boo. Yeah, you got a little boo-boo. It's your first big boo-boo. Really. But you wear it with pride. You're a tough girl. Yeah. You're a tough gal. I'm proud of you. Taking yeah, it. I'm just a tough. I'm just a tough. I'm a tough orange dog. You're a tough orange dog? Okay. I'm glad I, you can harness that spirit of the orange dog. Fight through the pain. And it's probably not stopping you from eating those sweets. Like your gummies. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I see. Your teeth look good. The back side of them looks good. I'm just yawning. Right I'm now. just yawning. Anyway, we had a little, we had one of those like parenting moments like, oh my gosh, we're going to have to go to the dot. But anyway, it's fine. She's fine. And Ben slept through the whole thing. That's the other good news. Mm -hmm. and he's still so I think folks want to know this book. This book. We've been hearing about. <laughs> it's coming. For a year. <laughs> it's coming. Is it actually coming? It is. I mean, the I publisher told me today I'm that I'm supposed to, to get an I was supposed to get an update I'm today to about it. You trying to touch this? Just tell them that the presale is uh, open. Uh, yeah, because presale it, is open. If it's open, presale is open. I just it. cannot give you a guaranteed date of when it comes out. So it'll ship at the end of October. I just can't give you an exact date. But there's date. a link. But there's a link. Okay, presale there'll be a link down below. I'm pretty. Oh, I'm pretty oh, sure. Uh, my dad already got got a copy. Oh, my parents have already got copies. Got it. So your biggest your biggest fans, and we don't even have an official copy yet. No, we I don't. wish we did. I it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, Annie, can I hold you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, y'all, it is just it is busy around here with Ben and Emmy, and mm. I'm oh. proud of you for. All, and amongst all of that, being pregnant and still, came you, still out you got you got a book done, a long book. It's over 100 pages. It's 180. Right? 180 Jesus. pages of delectable treats. So anyway, if you guys got uh, if you got a sweet tooth, know somebody that does. Links down below for OSG's goodness. And then with that, I am going to eat some dinner because I'm starving. Well, guys, I didn't really know where this vlog was going when I started it. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I still don't really know where it's going. I just finished editing the elk video, and uh, it's my first time getting back out on the water. And I actually talked to, uh, talked to a fishing freak when I was getting off the water. He was saying that it, it has sucked lately. I didn't understand, like, where was the white bass? You know, um, the crappie I dropped down on. Not happening. There's a few weeks, either at the end of September, sometime in September or early October, where that happens. And I think that's where we're at right now. So we really need, need it to cool down quite a bit more for it to, to get good again. Um, but this is where, this is usually where I end my nights. I come in here and I get, uh, get ready for the next adventure. Be able to tack, tackle or um, hunting stuff. Um, and I do a lot of what, knife maintenance. I got a new Skinner for this season. I'm sort of a Barky, I guess you could say. I'm a Bark River fan. I'm always kind of checking out what they got going on, what's what's popping out. And they made a uh, a new addition to the uh, the UP um, the UP series in an EDC size. It's like under four inches, and it's thin. That's what you want uh, with a Skinner. That baby's I got that Canadian style little sway back on it. It's gonna be good for doing that right there. And I learned something on some new cleaning knives. I'm gonna I'm gonna test it out. I got I went and got a couple of different knives that are extremely cheaper than um, you know my usuals right here with a nice leather case and oak handles and all that stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna be experimenting that on that with my next next meat session when I get some animals down. I don't know 
if this is possible, but I would like to get Emmy in a deer blind to see some deer for the first time. And I'm definitely going to take Stephanie out there, try to get her on our deer. But, you know, Emmy's just a, a tornado and we love her. We love her to death. She's just, she's got so much energy. She just can't help it. Anyways, I'm going to sign it off. Godspeed, good luck in the great outdoors, whether you're in the woods or you're getting on the water. I hope you're snatching them up. I hope your arrows and your bullets are flying straight. I'll see you guys on the next one.